Hey guys, it's Lottie again. I'm sitting here in Bochum at the Bahnhof Langendreer. Besides me, uh, the, the Arch. Hi, first of all. Hi. Hi. Hello. Uh, at least two uh, people of the Arch. It's not the old bad today. But uh, for people outside who absolutely don't know who you are, maybe you can tell them and say what's your current event. Yeah. Hi, guys. Um, we are the Arch from Belgium. Um, we are formed in 19... 86, long time ago. Um, I'm Gert, the singer, and I'm uh, Ivan DC. I am the guitar player. Yeah. And for people who really are interested in your band, we have done a really cool and long uh, Zoom interview last month, uh, last, last year, November, I think it was. Yeah, two months ago. Yeah, three months. Yeah, two months, three months. It's not that long ago. So this is more an update. Who wants to know the detail or the basics can watch this. And now we can talk about, for example, what happened in between. What have been the things you did since November? Uh, since November we had a lot of rehearsals for the new tour, uh, like this tour with uh, Götz Erben. Now it's a support, but we're gonna play a lot uh, after this tour. Um, we play some gigs in, in, um, in Belgium, but also in uh, the UK, in Malta. Um, so, yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a busy, um, next, the busy few, two months. Next months yeah. will be yeah. quite busy. Yeah. Cool. I will be um, on a lot of different places, different countries. So, uh, yeah. And meanwhile, yesterday we launched our uh, vinyl. So mm -hmm. uh, it was first on CD uh, in September, but now it's on vinyl too. So yeah. very happy with that. It's beautiful. So <laughs> in the merchandise you can you can buy the yeah. vinyl That's as well. The current album, Sanctuary Red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yeah. That's really cool. We talked about it a lot, so we have don't have to talk about it in detail. But uh, how does it feel to have it really in vinyl as a physical foreign piece? Yeah, a, a vinyl is so, so nice to have because the the cover is, is big and and yeah, it's a, it's a nice photo and it's always nice to to look at the vinyl because of the. Well, it's not only uh, beautiful. But we make all the artwork yeah. ourselves. So we all, it's like when I saw the LP yesterday for the first time because Goethe Seven brought them uh, from Dryland Records mm -hmm. and then it's like I want to sleep with it. Yeah, it's uh, like a baby. I didn't do it, baby. but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you saw it. it. <laughs> so yeah, and it's a good quality of course. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's great. And are you self, your self-collectors of vinyl? Yeah. Self collections? Yes. yes, yes, yes. That's the only uh, thing that I buy these days. Mm. I don't buy CD anymore, only vinyl. Yeah. Yeah. But when we were young, there was only uh, LPs, and so yeah. we kept our old, old, <laughs> new wave LPs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, I still uh, put them on in, in my living room. So I love it. Yeah. yeah. I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not having thousands of LPs, but uh, um, yeah, love it. And do you have some uh, special collector pieces that you're really proud of? Something. Some old or colored vinyl where you say, okay, this is really cool. I have a picture disc. <laughs> no, no, for me, all my vinyls are. I have special are editions cool from uh, Front 242 and things uh, like special uh, remixes, yeah. and uh, I think they are very rare now, so yeah, I yeah. keep them for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now you're on, you mentioned that you're on tour with Goethe's Erben, it's a small tour, three days, yeah. but um, it kicked off yesterday in Belgium. And you're Home country. So, how was your feeling yesterday? They have been excited about it. What, yeah. what was it, your experience? It was uh, for for me. Uh, it was a good experience. Uh, a lot of new. I met uh, a lot of new people uh, that didn't know our music mm -hmm. in our own country in Belgium. Okay. So okay. it's rare, but it's, it's what it is. Uh, so it was nice to to convince them with our music. We played a lot of uh, new songs uh, from the new album, from Sanctuary Lights. Uh, also tonight in Bochum, uh, we play a lot of new stuff. So, yeah, I was happy yesterday. Yeah, I think we, uh, there's a good match. Uh, we are completely different from style, but there are some um, uh, common uh, feelings or common um, you see it, uh, I think both of the bands are down to earth and atmospheric, and sometimes. there's a click yeah, yeah. between those two bands, <coughs> so it's nice. Yeah. And good, a good feeling, good atmosphere. 
They said you were good in party at the tour bus. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, yeah. but okay. today it will be calmer, I think. Uh, <laughs> and I think you are professional enough to not to too, too much party. No, 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 no because uh, when people buy tickets, we have to perform for more than 100% every night. Yeah. It's important for us. Thanks, so, yes. And um, did you know good um, before, more than the name maybe? Did you listen to them or what was the connection? Uh, yeah. Yes, we, we, we uh, met uh, Oswald, uh, I think two or three years ago, on a festival. We played together, we played together on a festival and he was uh, looking at us and he was like, oh, nice music. And that's why we are signed uh, by uh, Dryland Records, mm -hmm. so the, the same record company. And that, that was the first time we met Oswald. Yeah, but of course we know Goethe's Erben, yeah. we know uh, Henke. Uh, yeah. We saw Henke, yeah. we saw Goethe's Erben a yeah. long time ago in Belgium. Yeah. But you never played together before? No. No. Yeah, one, one time uh, it was the acoustic set of Goethe's Erben in Germany. Um, I don't know which country, uh, which town. Uh, it was yeah, two years ago. Mm. Yeah. It's, uh, this, is a, this is the third time. Huh? Yeah, yeah. And now we're in Bochum, it's uh, my home re region of the Ruhr area. So I have to ask, uh, how do you like it here at the Ruhr area and what cool connections do you have to this place? Well, we, we played uh, a few times in Bochum, in, Bochum, in uh, Witten. Also in the 80s we played in Zwischenfall. Mm -hmm. uh, so times. good, yeah. good yeah. memories, really good <laughs> memories. <laughs> I think in 88 or 89, yeah. I, or first 89 or, first, or something. Yeah. Yeah. Our first yeah. concert in, yeah. in Germany was Bochum yeah. Zwischenfall, so yeah. yeah, for us it was a crazy evening. I remember that our clothes were uh, Rip, ripped complete, off. Ripped yeah. off. Yeah. I, yeah. 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 It was a good party um, be <laughs> after the yeah. show, yeah. Zwischenfall, yeah. good memories, yeah. really good memories. And we played, uh, the last time we played in Witten, uh, together with, I think, Camellias? Comedian box, yeah. yeah. Comedians, yeah. It was great. Fantastic. It's also nice, yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah Zwischenfall, the guy over there is uh, the owner of the old Zwischenfall, which burned down. All oh, right, that's why he uh, yeah. shouted at us. Wow. Okay, nice. And now, now he does uh, still concerts and stuff, he's the organizer okay. of the CD. So. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. the connection. Okay. Yeah. And um, now I've lost my pardon. <laughs> ah, okay. And as you do party and uh, after shows a little bit and stuff, do you mix up with the fans? Do you connect to them after the show? Yeah. Or are you more like going back? No, uh, we all always mixed with the fans. And we also gonna see Goethe's Erben after our show. Uh, because it's nice to have yeah, the sea and, and then we can, we can connect, connect with the people inside of the venue. So it, yeah, we always do. And with such meetings, did you have some, for example, gifts, presents you got, something? No, uh, not presents, uh, but good, good stories to tell, both sides. So, yeah, it's always nice with a beer or a wine. <laughs> yeah. We brought, for uh, Goethe's Edwin, we brought uh, Magnum Duvel. Mm -hmm. uh, for them, we have to drink it tonight, yeah, I think. Yeah, small present for the band. But it's from our village. Yeah. Duvel. I don't know if you know Duvel the beer. I think I've yeah, it's drank, drank beer. it some, some time so, ago. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's a little attention. Uh, because our rehearsal uh, room is in front of the Duvel brewery. Oh, okay. And that's why... Uh, so you're sponsored by... <laughs> yes, <laughs> no. Or maybe you, yeah, should, you, should be, you should be sponsored by... Yes. Yeah, it would be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it yeah. isn't. Yeah, the strong beer in... Uh, Belgium are really hard. I mm. experienced it many times ago. We have a lot of beers. Yeah, almost 2,000 now. <laughs> almost in every street there is a brewery. So yeah. that's crazy. And let's talk a little bit now on, about the set tonight. I think mm. on such night we do some uh, some mix of old and new stuff. Maybe yeah. or we, uh, each day uh, we play another set. Okay. Yeah. Because otherwise Goethe's Edmund would be bored. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, the, I think um, like 60% is from the new album. And then we play, uh, of yep. course, some older stuff. Bob C. Stoat, 
we always like to play and some people in Germany know the song. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, one or two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This uh, it's a support, so it's a very short set of uh, 45 minutes. Yeah. But I think it's a good mix, old and new. Yeah. Okay. And uh, would you say Babsi's Tod is your most important song of the past, or Rip Dancer? Which one brought you more? Well, it depends in, in which country. In, in Germany, it's Babsi's Tod, uh, and in, in countries like Spain, it's uh, Rip Dancer. It's a uh, it's a big hit in Spain. Yeah. 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 So it depends. I think in, in Germany it even depends on uh, which city uh, or region which DJ played which song. So yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah, yeah. But in in um, how do you say it? Ruhrgebiet, Ruhrgebiet, Gebiet. Ruhrgebiet. Ruhr yeah, uh, I think they know the song Babsi Stot from the past. Yeah. And I think you will have to prepare for your show. You want to get a little bit in mood and get food in some minutes. I think. Yes. So yeah. It's already getting uh, set up. Um, so, what is important to you to prepare for such a show? What What do you need to get in the right mood to make a special meal? It's three, It's not not like walking. It's more like having a cool, cool mood. Uh, for me, it's uh, important that I can relax before a show for let's say half an hour or one hour, just relax, uh, doing nothing, uh, eating nothing, drinking nothing, and then go for. 300 percent. Yeah. Yeah. I do, we do a little. Well, I do a little meditation for myself, like uh, closing myself a little bit, and I drink something, one, just to, to calm down. Yeah. yeah. I, I understand. But sometimes it's easier. Yeah. You don't have to be drunk, but to no. have some some cool downness. Yeah. I totally understand. So good. Let's come to an end now, but uh, you mentioned that you have uh, lots of shows, so maybe a last uh, look onto the coming year. What's come, which shows, which uh, do you have already new material work and work or video or something? Uh, yes, we, we always work on new material, but that will be not, not for this, this year. year no. No. I think next year. Uh, the focus is on, uh, on playing to yeah. this year, so it's really. Um, and also working with visuals, that's what, not today, because it's... No, not for support. <laughs> but yeah. when we have a full show, we, we use a lot of visuals. Yeah. 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 So we are working on it, also a lot of, uh, yeah. lot of new visuals. We have some yeah. surprises uh, with Goethe Serben for later. Yeah, but we I can't think. say anything yet, I think. No. So yeah. people have to in follow November you. there will be yeah. something special there. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I'll keep an eye on it. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, and then maybe you want to greet someone you never have greeted before. Uh, greeted? <laughs> right, I don't know. Greet it, meet it. Greet it. Greet it. Greet it. Greet it uh, like greetings. Ah greet you want to greet ah, someone. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes yeah, English yeah. is yeah. even yeah. difficult. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What did you say? Go! Aan wie misschien? Aan de camera. Ja. Nou, we willen thank uh, everybody who's gonna be on our next shows. Uh, tonight, tomorrow, and the uh, rest of the year, of course. But um, uh, we'll hope to see you. Yeah, uh, yeah we hope. It'll be great to meet everybody. Yeah. Uh, we also want to say uh, thank you to Goethe's Erben and Dryland Records um, yeah, yeah. for taking care of us. So Absolutely. Yeah. it's yeah, very nice cooperation. Thanks a lot and I hope to see you soon. So Bye -bye. Thank, thank you for the talk. It was really nice thank again. You and for the I hope we meet again somewhere in the year. You guys outside, thanks for watching The Arch. If you don't know, check out. If you know, you know they are great. And I'll say bye-bye. Yeah. See you. Cheers. Bye-bye.